People were having fun last night, it seems, in the snow. <laughs> Everything's all frozen today. Unfortunately, I have to go out in it. I have a supervision this afternoon in the lab as well, so I need to stay there again for most of the day. This weather is far too cold. I cannot wait until it gets warm. I'm going to the grocery for dinner. They haven't updated the menu this week, um, so it'll be a surprise. Probably a bad one. I take that back, this is not bad. One year ago I filmed vlog 17, which is the one where I went on a blind date. And that was for charity, the same thing is happening again today. But unfortunately I'm not doing it this year. It is one of the fun things you can get involved with in Cambridge. I would recommend it if you come here. But that means lots of people are going to Cindy's, the club, tonight. Uh, Roger is not going on a blind date, but spent the night trying to persuade me to go to Cindy's with him anyway. I've turned that down. Somebody else asked if I wanted to go to a pub tonight. I've turned that down. I'm being good. I'm actually staying in and doing work. And I'm going to try to get up early tomorrow because my first lecture is at 12 o'clock. But I don't want to just wake up just in time for that because really that's too late. It's 11 o'clock now, I'll go to bed soon. If all goes to plan, I'll get up and be productive tomorrow. So I only have one lecture today. And it is really tempting not to go because it takes like two hours of time to get there and have the lecture and get back. So it sort of doubles the whole length of the lecture. It's 20 past 11. I've been editing the room tour from last term actually. But the weather doesn't look too bad. I mean look, it's, it's so bright out there. <laughs> There we go. But this is one lecture on security. So far the lectures have been fairly interesting. Security 1 was a course we had last year, it was very mathematical. It looked at cryptography, those kind of things. This course so far has not been mathematical, this has been sort of real life security. Think like an attacker, how do we protect systems? How do we keep users safe? So it's quite a contrast, but apparently the course is split into two halves of different lecturers as the second half, and it gets more mathsy again. Which might be today actually, so maybe I should go. Always dropping this camera. Can't believe it still works. The snowman's not looking as great today. Okay, I'm back. That took up 1 hour 45 minutes of my time, but I think it was worth going because that lecture had so much information in it. Today I need to do type supervision work. It's not actually due until the end of next week. I've got ages, but Claudio is coming this weekend to visit again, and I will not probably do much work while he's here, and I probably will get more supervision work given to me while he's here. So I want to get as much stuff as possible out of the way now. I also need to prepare a five minute presentation to give about my project to my overseers on Friday, which is in two days. That should be easy since I already had to give that whole 25 minute talk about my project. I just need to take five minutes out of that. And then just generally work on my project, so hopefully I've got a bit more of the implementation done by the time I give this talk. <laughs> Tomato, the first one. please. Good pizza from Sainsbury's. It's the Thursday morning of the beginning of week four, and it is snowing again. Nine o'clock lecture, then a twelve o'clock lecture, then an examples class for temporal logic and model checking, another course for which we aren't getting supervisions. I want to keep complaining about this because I think it's awful. I've just been looking at some Security 2 supervision work and there's a really interesting bit in the course about locks, specifically lock picking, lock bumping and master keys. Turns out our keys are really insecure and it's really easy to pick them and bump them and if it's a master key system it's really easy to make that master key. Okay, lock picking is easy and locks are actually useless, I've just picked this lock with a paper clip. And on that note, I'm going to protect my room by locking it. I'm going to give you some of the most specific advice ever. If you apply and get an offer from Queen's and live here and end up using the laundress next to dock it, use the top left dryer because it seems to be the best. That one is always broken and those two just aren't as effective. 
but this one has been great. I say great, I mean great in comparison to the others. It still doesn't work sometimes. I'm loving my fabulous new Superdrug beauty card. It was the only way I could get a student discount to save about 10 pence on this. Look at how messy my room is. I mean, I've even got an empty pizza box on the floor. This is really bad. I'm gonna tidy up, make it look really nice because Claudio is coming tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to give a presentation, it only has to be 5 minutes, about my project so far. So I've got this ready. These are just some of the slides from the longer presentation that I did a few weeks ago. 20 past 1 now though, I need to get up really early because I've got a lot of supervision work to do before this. I've got like 6 hours worth of work to do tomorrow morning. So I'll get a nice healthy 6 hours of sleep first. Thanks for watching.